few people have asked about pointers to make classic techno and house patterns on drum machines. So let's take a look at this tonight and I'm gonna use a TR909 and a TR727 and also a little mini keyboard for some basic accompaniment. Okay, so in this video we're using a Roland TR909 and a Roland TR727 and this little M Audio Key Station Mini 32 to play instruments. But the bulk of the video is about these two machines and the patterns we can create with them. The first pattern I wanted to show is a classic house sound of the 90s with the added congas and it goes something like this and I have the TR909 synced to the TR727 with the TR909 being the master and the 727 the slave. This is the beat and as you can see it's got real drums and congas. If you mute the congas this is the beat from the 909. If you move the 909, this is the beat from the congas and shakers. Kabasa. When you put them together, you got that beat. And um, also, you can play some uh, house piano. Typically, it was a Korg M1. And uh, this is just a piano of the DAW. It's pretty similar to the the Korg M1 piano. So you you get mm, patterns like this. Let's take a look at how to make these patterns. Okay, first thing we're gonna mute the, the 727 and only focus on the 909 for today for now. And let's erase the pattern first. So clear pattern. Now we got a blank pattern. Now really the, the main thing you need to remember when composing a house or techno beats the four on the floor is uh, really one, five, nine, and thirteen. Those are the strong beats of um, the measure and um, so let's program those with the bass drum let's start the sequencer select the bass drum and let's put it on 1, 5, 9 and 13 also put the, put the, uh, let's put the accent on the same beats so that we can make it stronger And then on uh, for the hi hats, you can do pretty much whatever you want. But uh, the common thing is to do the open hi hat on three, seven, eleven, and fifteen. So let's do that. Also, you can, if you want, you can put the, um, the close hi hat. and perhaps a clap on um, 5 and 13. Now you got the basic house beat. Now let's move on to the 727. Let's mute the TR909. And uh, let's do a conga beat on the 727. So let's start the 7 to 7. Alright, let's
let's um, erase this pattern. And I'm just going to use a little bit of volume from the TR-909 just to give me the tempo. And then just a little conga. That was the high conga, and then the low conga. And then let's add the um, cabasa. Let's slow down the tempo from 126 to something more manageable to do the cabasa programming. Now you can see these are straight 16. We want we want it to swing, so we're gonna change the swing factor. Call shuffle on the TR series. To change the shuffle on um, the TR seven to seven, you just uh, press shuffle, and you select the number of uh, the shuffle that you want to apply. Like a number two would be good. And now. If you put the tempo back to 126, this is a shuffled rhythm. When you put it all together with uh, TR909, you can even use more shuffle. You can pick a number three and now it shuffles even more. Together with the 909. That's a little bit too much, so let's put it back on number two here. And maybe let's remove some of the hi-hats on TR-909. All right, now we got the good beat, I think. Let's play it. Yeah, it's good. That's a typical house beat with the congas of the 90s, late 80s, early 90s. And again, I put uh, the piano on top of it, and you got the house beat. The second pattern I wanted to show you is the typical messy and busy techno pattern of the early 90s full of uh, tom-toms and cymbals and claps and rim shots of the TR-909. It goes something like this. This is kind of a techno rave type of sound. Usually it was always done with uh, typical ra rave stabs like this one here. Put it together, you got something like. Let's take a look at how to reproduce this busy pattern. This is actually very easy. Let's grab another pattern here and initialize it. And again, you want to put the bass drum on 1, 5, 9, and 13. The tempo you want to bring it up to 130 maybe. And uh, again, the accent.
Then the first two ants. You want to put the tom toms like at random, really. That's how it was done. Let's um, grab the tom toms. Same thing for the claps. Same thing for the rim shot. Symbols. Snare. There you go, your basic uh, techno rave. And again, put it together with a stab, and you get 1992 basically. Alright guys, I gotta run for tonight, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you soon.